Hi class. All right, welcome to our chemistry class. Um, I'm really sad that I won't get a chance to actually meet you guys, but your health comes first. We're gonna get through this together and we're gonna try to actually have a little fun with it. I was gonna send you a long email and explain how the lecture is going to work, but I figure, you let's be real, you're gonna read a couple sentences and then ignore the rest of my emails. So this is more fun. Um, so let's go quickly go over the class and how this class is gonna work. First of all, this class has three parts. We have a lecture part, that's me. We have a lab and we have a seminar. I have nothing to do with lab and seminar. Dr. Singmaster is the coordinator for lab and you have a lab instructor. Now what I deal with, I deal with lecture. So if you have any lecture related questions, you come to me. Um, having said that, of course, I will help you along the way with the lab too, because at the end, lab is 30% uh, of your grade, 35% of your grade, and lecture is 65% of your grade. So at the end, we're gonna combine the two together and you are going to have one letter grade. So I still gonna help you with that. But um, if you have questions about due dates and lab reports, your lab instructor is who you should go to. So I deal with lecture, yeah? So let's talk about lecture. So how is this gonna work? This is how this is going to work. So first of all, you probably are wondering about a textbook, right? What are you gonna do for a textbook? Um, if you read the syllabus, I suggest a textbook to you, okay? And um, I don't care much for textbooks. Have you tried to read a chemistry textbook? It's no fun. They should make it like audiobook. Maybe then people will, will, um, <laughs> will read it. So chemistry textbooks are not fun to, to read. And my philosophy in teaching is that if I'm doing my job, then you should not have to go to the textbook and read a textbook. If you have to go and read a textbook, then what am I doing? That's not my job, right? So that's my philosophy in teaching that I'm, is my mission to make sure when you watch my lecture video, you understand the material. So you don't have to go read a textbook. Having said that, it's good to have a textbook that you can refer to, right? You can reference it. When you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go to the textbook and then read the textbook. So as long as you have a textbook, that's all you need. I don't care what you have. I suggested a textbook on the syllabus. Buy the oldest edition you can find. Buy the cheapest one you can find. You want an ebook? That's okay. As long as you have a college level chemistry textbook, that's all I care about. So far so good? Okay, now, how is lecture gonna work? Here's how lecture is going to work. Every week, I'm going to post an overview to tell you what we are going to do that week, and then I'm gonna post lecture videos, okay? I don't do PowerPoints. No, those are not fun. I don't do PowerPoints. I don't think you can teach from PowerPoints. That's my personal opinion. Um, I love whiteboard. I love writing on a whiteboard and having you write with me and then have interaction. So right now, we're not in a classroom, of course. So what I'm gonna do, I get the best next thing I could do, I bought a whiteboard on Amazon, <laughs> okay? Um, so I'll be writing on a whiteboard and videotaping myself and then posting the lecture video. Or sometimes I might do it on an iPad. Okay, the iPad whiteboard. So somehow I'm gonna find a whiteboard, iPad or the, the actual whiteboard, and I'm gonna do my lecture videos and I'm going to post my lecture videos. Watch the lecture videos. Watch them, take notes, stay on top of it. Now, when I post my lecture video, the bottom of each lecture video, you can post the reply. So when you go to Canvas, you look at an overview and you're gonna watch the lecture videos. Underneath of each one, when you open it and you watch it, it says reply. You can post a reply. So if you have any question about that lecture video, post a reply. I'll, I'll, once in a while, I'll check that and I reply to your questions. So watch the video and then post a reply if you have any questions. So far so good? Okay. Um, now, last semester when we ended up going online, for half the semester, um, one of some of my students, they they loved the fact that we were doing it online and not in class because they said that they could 
mute me every time they wanted to. Do not mute me. And they could also fast forward my chemistry jokes and I didn't have to listen to my chemistry jokes. In a classroom, you can't just fast forward me. Um, that's kind of me. My chemistry jokes are funny. So do not fast forward my chemistry jokes, okay? Listen to my jokes. Hopefully you guys are nicer to me than my last class. Um, so far so good? Okay. Um, again, we're gonna do our best. Try to have fun with this and, and make it best, best of it. Um, so, Every week, you're gonna go to Canvas. Canvas is where we hang out, okay? Canvas is our place. You're gonna go to Canvas, look at the overview, and then watch the lecture videos. And then reply, a post a reply if you have any questions. Now, if you have more questions after that, come to office hours. I'm going to have office hours every week. I will post the, 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 the Zoom link to those office hours and also the time and the day. Come to office hours. Even if you have no question, just come by to say hi so I know who you are. And also you can listen in to other people's uh, questions. So come to office hours. I take it personal when people don't come to office hours a little bit. So come to office hours, come to office hours. Um, so far so good? Okay, so you know what to do. We hang out on Canvas. You're gonna come to Canvas every week, look at the overview, watch the lecture video. You can post a reply if you have any question about the lecture videos and come to office hours if you have more questions. All right, now I don't do online homework. You know those math setting cam and all that? I don't do online homework because a few years ago when they were encouraging me to do online homework, I actually went in and I tested out. I did a chapter, chapter one for online homework. And I got like a 32%. It's like, oh boy, I have a PhD. What's going on here? Online homework can be frustrating because if you put a dash instead of a hyphen, it's not going to accept it. There are a lot of problems. So I, I'm not going to have you do that. Instead, I'm going to have you do take-home quizzes. Now, I call it a quiz so people freak out, but don't freak out. They're take-home quizzes. They're like homework. So look at it as take-home quizzes are like homework. Instead of having online homework, I write those quizzes so there are not as many problems and they're more focused and they are gonna help you get ready for the exam because I write those problems and I write the exam. So they take, again, yeah, they're take home. They're take home quizzes. So they're not really a quiz because you can open the quiz, you can work on it as long as you want. You have, I mean, there's a due date, but I give you at least a week or two to work on the quizzes. You can, I always say you can cheat, but not cheat. You can collaborate with other people. You can use your notes. And then when you're ready, you go to Canvas and you submit your answers. I will send you more information when our first quiz is due. But I just wanted you to know that the, the take-home quizzes on Canvas, when you see them, don't freak out. They're, not more, they're more like, a home, like homework, right? To get you to do practice, to get you ready for the, for the exam. And right before the exam, of course, I'm gonna give you practice exam and key and have extra office hours. I got your back, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do this. So far, so good? Okay, so if you have any question about lab, you should email your lab instructor. Lab instructor and Dr. Sigmaster, they take care of lab. I do your lecture. If you have any question about lectures, you come to me. Where do we hang out? We hang out on Canvas. You're gonna go to Canvas every week, go to module, and then look at the overview and watch the lecture video. You can post a reply to ask questions. You can also come to office hours and then you are going to have take-home quizzes. I think we have about six take-home quizzes. Look at those as homework. You're going to do this to get ready for the exam, and I will send you more information on those later. All right, now, one more thing I want to talk about. Um, our class is 100% virtual and is never going to be a live class. I'm going to post this stuff. You're going to go and you're going to watch me, okay? You're going to watch all of our, our lecture videos. You're going to take notes. So everything is 100% virtual and online. And there's no live classes. Kind of nice because you can do it at your own pace, okay? Um, and I do this because I know not everyone has the best Wi-Fi. Some of you guys are sharing a laptop. I completely understand that. So again, you're going to do this at your own pace. The only time, and I need you to take note of this, the only times that I'm gonna ask you to log in during our class time is for exam one, two, three, and our final exam. 
So every time we have an exam, you we are going to have a live class. You're going to log into Zoom at 1.30 p.m. And then I'm going to proctor you as you're taking the exam. So beside the exams, other times, you're not expected to be at 1.30 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday to be online and watch this up. No, I'm going to post the videos. You can watch it whenever you can, but I stay on top of it, okay? Every week, you got to get everything done. Week one, I have a module. You're going to get it week done. Week two, I have a module. You're going to get it done. I might even like be one, one week ahead. So post week one and week two. So you have a chance to get ahead. That's nice, especially at the beginning to get ahead of the class. Um, so the only time we're going to have a live class and you have to log in to Canada, to Zoom at 1.30 p.m. Monday uh, is, is on exam day. And you can see the exam dates on our syllabus. Sounds good? Okay, so you can see those on our syllabus. Um, okay, if you have any questions, send me an email, come to office hours. Your health comes first. There's no question about it. So we're doing this online. So we, we keep being healthy and we're gonna try to have fun with it. And you will never forget this class because you know when you took my class during the pandemic and hopefully you're gonna remember that you did really well. <laughs> All right, so hopefully, I really hope I see you guys during office hours. Okay, I'll see you guys then.